Today we're going to talk about chamois cream. Hello legends and super legends. Welcome to Velo Harmony. Today I'm going to be talking about chamois cream, the different kinds that are out there. Should you use it? Is it a good idea? You know, yada yada yada. Now the reason I'm talking about this today is today is July 4th in the U.S. I decided to make this extra video for our Independence Day. But also, uh, one of our legends named Paul K requested that I talk about this subject. But the reason I'm moving it up the queue is because I rode in the rain today and it was on my mind because that's really the only time I think about using chamois cream. Um, because if you're having to use chamois cream all the time to prevent discomfort and saddle sores, you're, you're uh, putting a band-aid on a situation that the problem's not going to go away. You need to revisit your fit. My shoe's still wet, so that was on my mind. I'm going to stick some newspapers in here to absorb the moisture when I'm done with the video. But that was why I decided to move his request up the queue because usually uh, all the requests that I have, I queue them based on my pat pat patrons and then other supporters first. And so I moved this up because this was something that was timely to be discussed today because I just got down from riding almost three hours in heavy torrential downpour to where water was on the road and everything. And it was just epic. So do I own chamois cream? Yeah, I have chamois cream. I've got a brand here. Let's see. Morgan Blue. I've got uh, the Euro style chamois butter. And I'm going to bring it to the camera. I hope it can pick it up. It's relatively full. This is almost uh, two years old. I just want you to see. That's not much. I don't use them much. And I'll tell you why. Um, what I wanted to address, though, is I want to start with this from a process standpoint. <clears throat> Chamois cream is great. I only use them when I'm going to ride like today. I knew it was going to rain. They forecasted rain for the 4th. It was going to be heavy. You looked at the forecast. It said 80% at 3 in the morning, 100% at 8, whatever. And I, I, I was off. I needed to ride. So I put the, I don't know if you guys can see that. The, I took the cold Nago out. I've got my XL uh, mud guards on there, you know. And uh, that's all I did. I put the mud guards on there. I covered my shoes with my Enduro uh, shoe covers, the lightweight ones. Yeah, the shoe got wet. It was damp most of the ride, but it was a lot less wet than it would have been without the covers. So, yeah, the covers didn't keep everything off. That's because when I left, it was just overcast. So it had not started raining. So I thought, well, if it doesn't rain, I don't want my heavy duty shoe covers you know, in my pockets. I carried them in my pocket. Once I got out there and the rain started coming in, I stopped and just slipped them on. So they work great. But anyway, let's get to the, the topic at hand here. You want to use chamois cream, everything else being equal when you're going to do wet rides, damp rides, because it, it relieves the friction. When your body gets wet, your your shorts get wet, especially most of you that don't use mud guards. The water from the rear wheel wets your short and your chamois. So that those are the rides that you want to put on chamois cream uh, uh, for. Now, if you're having to put them on all the time, thinking that this is going to prevent you from getting saddle sores, then you're approaching things wrong. The reason you're getting saddle sores is because your fit is off. Out of the saddle doesn't suit your anatomy, your sit bone structure. So you need to get a saddle that suits you and you need to make sure that your fit is done. Invest in a fit. You can buy $3,000 carbon wheels. A $300 fit is a much better use of your money than those fancy equipment that we spend money on. Because if your bike doesn't fit you, saddle sores can get infected and can cause you to not be able to ride if you let them go. So if you're using chamois cream because of that, it's not going to solve the problem. The problem will always be there and you're just going to go through them. So you should only use them when you're going to be wet because then your skin is kind of damp. It gets clammy. And that's when the chamois cream really helps. So today I put on a little bit of chamois cream and I actually put it on my body, on my sit bones. I don't like to put it on my short 
chamois because it just feels cold when you put the short on. I much rather put it like you would put lotion on your skin. I put the, the chamois cream on the spot where I sit on my sit bone and then I put on my shorts and that works fine. So I may use these three to four times, maybe a week out of a year, maybe. Because if it's just going to be light rain, I don't even bother putting it on. I knew I was going to get drenched. You know, I have my rain vest on and everything to keep my body uh, relatively dry. But it was actually very nice having it rain on you. Kept the temperatures low and everything. So let's get back to the issue with chamois cream. If you are one of those riders, because it's a hit or miss. Some riders swear by chamois cream. Some riders don't touch the stuff. I don't use chamois cream, period. I, as I said, I only put it on if I'm going to go ride in the wet on a long ride. Now, if you must use chamois cream, you want to look for the natural kind. This, uh, they got like Belgian butter. They got different kinds out there. You can even use Noxzema. It's a lot less expensive than the fancy stuff, but it's going to work. Uh, so you don't need to go too crazy. You don't need to depend on it. It is not necessary, in my opinion. I could have written today without chamois cream and not get saddle sores. I only use it because I have them. I have them. Why not? That's the only time I use it when it's wet. You know, it doesn't mean that if I do one ride in the rain, I'm going to get saddle sores because of that. Because my bike fits me. When your bike fits you, you don't have the friction and chafing. That's what causes those infected follicles and, you know, irritated skin that leads to saddle sores. I will put a link to the video here where I, what I did uh, about saddle sores so that you can kind of review that. But uh, he asked that I talk about the different kinds of chamois cream. Should you use them? Is it necessary? And that's really why I opened the video that way. So, yes, chamois cream is a product that's out there, but there are riders that don't touch the stuff. I'm one of them. I don't really use them. This is almost two years old. You saw how little I've used. So um, I didn't buy these. These were in a sample from Wiggle, Wig, Wiggle uh, UK. I bought some other stuff and they just put that in there. I guess it was like an enticement to check out the line. So I didn't spend money on it, you know. And this one came as another sample when I bought the Morgan Blue cleaning products for my bike. They put that in there. You don't need to spend a lot of money. What you need to do is find out why you think you need chamois cream. And that comes back to something's rubbing somewhere causing discomfort. And you can have the right saddle height, right fore aft. And if that brand of saddle doesn't suit your anatomy, yeah, you can have chafing. You can have rubbing. Anytime something is uncomfortable, get a fit done. If you were trying to do it yourself and you can't get there, get a fit done. You know, if you want us to help you, you can sign up for our remote fit. I'll put a link here for that and we'll help you get that tweaked if you're close because you can be within three millimeters and still be uncomfortable. It's not, it doesn't have to be a big difference to get you where you need to be. You know, if you're not sitting properly or if that saddle model does not suit you. So keep that in mind. So I'm going to go ahead and summarize by saying that in my opinion, chamois cream is optional. Now there are riders that will swear by it. You know, there are riders that just, they use them and there are riders that don't use them. Either way, either or, you're going to find both of those. So, but I don't believe it's necessary because if your bike fits you properly, you're not going to have this, the conditions that create saddle sores. Because when you're too high in your saddle and you're rocking, yeah, that's something's rubbing on the saddle. Yeah, you're going to infect your follicles. You're going to get a lot of chafing. Don't skimp on your shorts. Don't buy cheap shorts. Don't buy shorts with cheap chamois. Because if they don't do the seams right, the seams can chafe you. Make sure that you invest in a fit and that you will not need chamois cream. That's the best way I can put it. So with that, make sure you get your case.